Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about the Munich Gallery of Beauties. So the Munich Gallery of Beauties, also known as the Schönheiten Gallery, is a collection of 36 paintings that were commissioned by the Bavarian king Ludwig I, who wanted to have portraits made of the most beautiful women in upper and middle class Munich of his time. These portraits were painted between 1827 and 1850. Most of them were done by Joseph Karl Stieler, who was the court painter at the time, and they are they are really gorgeous. These ladies are so beautiful, even by today's standards, like modern standards. I think we could still say these ladies are absolutely gorgeous. Besides that, this is just a really great way to really get a feel of um, what the beauty trends were like back then because here you have examples of what were considered the most beautiful ladies of the time um, in that certain kind of area. I have to say King Ludwig certainly had a type. The ladies or many of the ladies look quite similar <laughs> but yeah for me personally this is a beautiful example of kind of um, early to mid 19th century hair trends and I just really wanted to kind of take the time to take a better look at these ladies, take a closer look at how they have their hair done, kind of how their faces look because often ladies did secretly wear a little bit of makeup even though it wasn't really talked about back then and just what the beauty standard was like in general. So King, King Ludwig I of Bavaria loved his women and it is debated whether uh, these ladies or maybe some of them were his mistresses for a while as well. We're not sure. In any case, some of them were ladies from the court, some of them were uh, daughters of merchants or uh, craftsmen. But one thing they have in common is they were all very, very beautiful. And today I wanted to recreate um, kind of the general feel of their look. Like I mentioned, many of them are very similar looking. So I kind of just went for a style that combines a few of their looks. And this is kind of generally how they look in the paintings. This is the look that I came up with for myself. So I have, uh, of course, the typical kind of curls in the front and braided bun in the back, very 19th century. So I suggest we jump straight into the makeup tutorial. I am going to do a little bit of makeup because even though makeup wasn't really worn um, back then, or at least not openly, um, these ladies do have very distinct features. It may have just have been the painting style back then, kind of like how it was popular to paint a face, but they may have actually looked like this. I'm just gonna kind of try to recreate the feeling of the paintings. So I'm going to start with a very light base of foundation. I'm actually only going to apply foundation in a couple of places where I feel like my skin is a little bit uneven, so my, my nose, which is a little bit more red, and uh, underneath my eyes to kind of cover my dark circles. And I'm just going to blend that in really well. And I'm going to try and make this look extremely natural, like the ultimate no makeup makeup look. So when my foundation is blended in, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And again, I'm going to try and keep them very natural. So I'm just going to use a tinted brow gel. And I'm going to use this to kind of brush my eyebrows into a more arched shape. So very round, feminine, soft type of eyebrow. And uh, also just to fill them in a little bit, make them look nice and groomed. So for my eyelashes, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of mascara very lightly. I just want to tint my lashes a little bit, make them stand out a little bit more on my face. So when I have coated them very lightly, I'm going to go over with a spoolie and actually try to remove any type of clump or stuff like that that may have been left behind. So that is really just the color and maybe a touch of lift from the mascara. And then I'm going to go in with my blusher and this is going to be pretty much the most noticeable thing about my makeup. All these ladies in the paintings have very kind of prominent um, redness in their cheeks. So I'm going to take a bright pink blush and I'm going to apply this pretty much all over the sides of my face. Yeah, just cover my entire cheeks in this. And don't be afraid to use quite a heavy hand in this. So for the lips in general, the ladies appear to be wearing uh, more kind of like corally tones, like orangey reds and pinks. So I'm going to go with a color that I have that is similar to that. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers so that I can apply it very lightly, really press it into the lips, make it look more like a stain and just again, a very natural type of makeup. 
And there's the makeup look already done, that's all there is to it, so let's move on to the hair, which is the more kind of iconic part of this look. So I'm going to start by dividing my hair, I'm going to separate the front from the back. So I'm going to start with a center parting and then make two partings uh, going from that center parting on the back of my head to my ears. And I'm going to just clip all of the back of my hair away for now while I work on these front pieces because these I am going to curl. I'm going to use the smallest curling iron that I have, which is a 13 millimeter one. And I'm going to kind of imitate the look of rag curls because I'm pretty sure uh, women used rag curls to achieve this look. I do have a tutorial for rag curls on my channel if you're interested in how to do these authentically. I'm just going to fake them using a curling iron. So I am just going to section my hair into little sections, wrap a section around the curling iron, hold for a few seconds and then when it's all heated through I'm going to release it, hold it in my hand and I'm going to pinch it, roll it up and then I'm going to uh, pin this to my head to cool down on this shape so that it really reinforces and that it doesn't droop down and become more loose. I want these really nice and tight curls so I'm going to do that all over all of this hair that I have loose. I'm not going to worry about my bangs too much which I do have because they are going to be pinned to the side anyway into the tighter kind of flat top part of the hairstyle so that's completely fine. So when all of my hair is curled I'm going to give this a few minutes to cool down while I work on the back of my hair. So I'm just going to pull everything together into a very high ponytail. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. And I'm going to tie my hair up there. And now for me personally I am going to apply uh, some hair extensions just to make this a little bit fuller, make it look more authentic. Don't worry about using hair extensions by the way, they were used all throughout history, people have been using hair extensions and wigs all the way back to ancient times, so don't feel guilty about doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to just apply some hair extensions and then braid all of my hair, just a simple English braid. I'm going to tie it off at the end when I'm done. And then I am very simply just going to wrap the braid around the base of my ponytail to create a very simple bun. And I'm going to pin that down with a couple of bobby pins to make sure it's nice and secure. So my bun is done now, I'm going to move on to the front of my hair again. I'm going to take all of my pins out and release my curls. And then I'm going to uh, start separating the, these curls and kind of working on them. I don't want them to look like they just came out of the curling process. I want them to be a little bit more styled. So I'm going to just run my fingers through them, comb them a little bit and just kind of keep working on them until they uh, look a way that I like them. So then I'm going to flatten the top of my hair and I'm going to take a bobby pin and slide it in right kind of at the edge of my eyebrow, just above that. And uh, you can often see this in the paintings as well. Some ladies, you can clearly see they have clips in their hair right there. Some ladies just have the top part straight. That is what happens when you do rack curls. So yeah, because we are faking them, we are going to need a bobby pin here, but it shouldn't be too prominent if you use one that is your own hair color. So I'm going to stick that in and one more behind that until I've made this straight line going all the way back to my parting in the back there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then work on my curls a little bit more until I get them the way I like them. And then that is your hairstyle done. So congratulations, you now fit right into the Munich gallery of beauties. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all of my new videos. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I will have a link in the description box. I will have another video in the screen that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!